Here I have a bunch of cones that I want to uh, animate by hand colliding with the sphere and then I will I want to record the animation. So for that I will first select the uh, cones which are the children of this cloner null. Uh, right click and then choose select children and hold control and then click the null to deselect it. Now uh, choose the uh, uh, dynamic place tool and you'll and move the uh, cones you'll see that they collide with the with the ball but I want to record that animation so to do that I'll use cappuccino so open cappuccino and once I click start real time it will record the full project that is from 0 to 90 and will start at the current time which is 0 and will rewind time so when it reaches the end it will go back to the beginning and will record the position and rotation the scale is unchecked because it will not be affected so I'll click start real time and then move these uh, cones you'll see that there's animation pass uh, indicating that the uh, frames are recorded the keyframes are recorded now I'll go back to the beginning uh, deselect the cloner null and play the animation you'll see that the animation is recorded now these these clones these cones are uh, all parametric they're they not uh, they're not they don't have a uh, rigid body tag so they only turn uh, dynamic temporarily and that's how the dynamic place tool works.